I happened, it was just a bit of kismet, to have these IDs that had been, frankly, sitting on the shelf, but hadn't found a music person. My son, James, was um, diagnosed with autism when he was two and a half. And music was sort of the key to engaging with him. I think I should tell the story. Tell it. Well, the videos got sent to me and Max. And we played around with them a little bit. I thought they were neat looking. I selected a few styles and I tested them out. The very first time I did it, it sounded sad. And we fixed that, right? Me and Max. Mm. Max is a beatboxing teacher. He is just an awesome guy. Yeah. This spring, I happened to hear the NPR story about James, the podcast. So I thought, here's a kid coming out of high school who's looking to get his break, and um, why wouldn't we just try this and see how it works out? So I spoke to Nancy and uh, shipped the, uh, the files down to, uh, down to James to see what magic he might work with them. He started composing electronic music a couple of years ago and has really taken to that and it's become a great gift and a, a love of his and really I think the path to a rewarding and successful future for him in the world. I was happy frankly some of the first pieces were very retro. You know other people were like ah, a little too retro you know want more of this more of that different vibe here um, the finger snaps seem too aggressive. Oh my god we have to redo it like 30 times, maybe more. So this one's more hip hop. This one is very cool. It was actually a, a great experience because um, it was really the first time that James had to respond to um, feedback and incorporate feedback and criticism into his work. So it was super rewarding and fun and um, really thankful that he had the opportunity to do it. So we love them and um, it was a real pleasure to work with James. It was fun to work on all these. For more information about autism awareness and acceptance, please visit autisticadvocacy.org.